So I know this is kind of old news by now and the topic of the video is even older, but Simon Bennett has left social media. He's left the Bluebird app, he's left Ranger Board, and it's not really a big deal, but hey, he did what thousands of others couldn't do, and that is walk away from social media. But I gotta commend the dude when he was on Twitter because he had patience of steel dealing with Power Ranger fans on there because once they found out that Simon Bennett was on Twitter, they would flock to him with stupid questions. Some smart, mostly stupid, but he had the patience of a saint to answer those questions because he would get a lot of dumb questions. People would sort of add their opinion into the mix and tell him how to run the show and stuff like that. So you got to commend him. But yeah, Simon Bennett is no longer on social media or Ranger Board or anything like that. It's not really a big deal. I'm sure he'll return to social media eventually. Either he deleted his account or Hasbro shut it down. That's one of the conspiracies. But that's not the topic of today's video. Um, F in the chat for Simon Bennett's Twitter. But let's talk about one of the tweets that I've seen circulating online when he sort of went on a bit of a answering stuff behind the scenes when it came to Ninja Steel and stuff like that. But one of the tweets that caught my attention was talking about Super Mega Force and how it adapted Gokaija, a pirate-themed Sentai, and it wasn't a very piratey season. But Simon Bennett tweeted this out. So, this is really old by this point, it's like 12 days old so a couple of weeks old not only then it's hard to find the original tweet because Simon Bennett is no longer on Twitter so I'll just read it out where someone asked probably about why was Super Mega Force pirate themed without any pirating involved so Simon responded to this Saban hated pirates apparently and wouldn't allow a pirate themed season now, if this is true, this might actually explain a lot of things going on when it comes to Super Mega Force, because, like I mentioned at the start of the video, it adapted the season Go Kaija, which was a pirate themed Sentai that had a lot of piracy to it, from pirate ships to pirate outfits and swords and guns and the whole swashbuckling lot. And they didn't even acknowledge that these were pirate-based powers. I mean, they kind of danced around it. And if that line is true, that Saban hated pirates and he didn't want to do a pirate-themed Sentai, then that makes sense a little bit. But I do wonder why he hated pirates. Maybe someone showed him an episode of One Piece and he hated it. But the whole pirate-themed season... I'm guessing he thought that pirates couldn't be good guys or anything like that, and bad guys are meant to be pirates, because, you know, pirates uh, steal, pillage, and plunder, and all that stuff, so maybe Saban kind of wanted to dance around it and not even acknowledge that the good guys were pirates. I don't know. I think there was another part of his tweet that sort of went into it, or maybe someone replied to it that went into it, but yeah, that's kind of an interesting revelation to the whole... Megaforce being a pirate themed Sentai without any pirating involved. And Super Megaforce has its own problems that went on behind the scenes and I'm definitely going to make a video talking about it in the nearby future. I'm either going to drop that video sometime in 2023 or I'm probably going to talk about it in my Megaforce retrospective because Megaforce is 10 years old next year in 2023 so I'll probably combine the two seasons because Megaforce and Super Megaforce is a whole clusterfuck of a show you got to talk about and it'd be an interesting thing to go back and rewatch and sort of talk about again because um, it's on Stan, one of the Australian streaming services and I actually might go back and watch it um, sometime this year uh, to sort of refresh my memory and see if it does hold up or anything like that or is it as bad as everyone talks about. Um, but yeah, but like I mentioned earlier, there's no point raising my arms and shaking my fists at Saban because this happened over 10 years ago, or almost over 10 years ago, so there's no point getting really angry. It's not like I can go back in time and change what happened with Super Mega Force, and they're not going to remake it and retcon it or do anything like that. So it's an interesting tidbit of what happened behind the scenes, and I wonder if Saban can actually confirm this, like he's going to pull up at Power Morphicon and be like, yeah, fuck those pirates. 
Um, that's a terrible impression, but you know what I mean. So I do wonder if someone else who worked on the show behind the scenes can confirm it, whether it's like the writing staff or anything like that. That'd be an interesting um, source as well. If we can just sort of double, triple confirm it later down the line. But anyway, guys, what do you think of this revelation? Tell me in the comment section down below. I'd love to hear your thoughts and opinions. With that said, I'm going to bring this video to a close. If you enjoyed this video, hit that like button, subscribe to the channel if you're new, and I will see you guys later. Peace out, take care. Bye.